much beloved and celebrated here this afternoon. For many school districts, summer is beginning for them, or it's about to. Here as we take a live look in downtown Indianapolis, as school will soon be out for well, maybe in about a month. Summer. I think we're close. For some, we're close. For we're college, <laughs> for college teachers. Yes. Everyone's a critic. Teachers, yes, yes. Uh, but you know, we know a pretty <laughs> special teacher back in Connorsville, Indiana, Joe Glowacki, who right. retired after 50 years. So uh, I know you've been down there mm -hmm. to see him a couple of times. So we celebrate. Yeah, him, you were a budding. Uh, you know, we were a budding journalist at the time yeah. when I was there many years ago, senior in high school. About five was years the, ago, yeah, wasn't it? Five, yeah, five, ten, maybe yeah. twenty, something like that. Twenty-five, thirty. We're older than we look. Something, something like that. <laughs> back when you used to smile. Oh, back in the days, Matt. <laughs> Those were the good old days, partner. How about the pollen index for today here? Uh, you nothing to smile about for Monday. We got uh, way up there. You'll notice it starts to go down once we hit Thursday because the rain odds will go up. That's our wettest day from start to finish. Now, tomorrow it looks like the storms and downpours should be mainly late in the afternoon. 50-50 shot on Wednesday right now. Then the odds should creep down on Friday as this front gets through here. Uh, time lapse from Morris Lake. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous day in progress right now. You can see not much wind early in the day. It does start to pick up a little bit. And it is coming from the southwest. So a warm direction here. Teaming up with the bright sky over central Indiana. Hit 71 yesterday. Looking like we're going to be in the upper 70s to finish off what looks to be the best day of the week here. Southwest wind right now at 8. We'll get into the uh, 15 to near 20 mile per hour range. Visible satellites showing some high clouds coming in. No rain here locally. We'll keep it nice and quiet. 74 already in Seymour. 68 in Richmond. Muncie at 73. And we've got you at 73 in Greenwood here. So uh, forecast highs today will top out 75 to almost 80. If you got uh, plans to got, get out this evening, what we're expecting here is that uh, partly cloudy sky around. Some scattered storms, but they're going to be up far north. But just keep in mind there, Lafayette, Kokomo. And then look at the clock. This is at 6 p.m. So large part of your daylight hours are going to be fine. But there will be some thunderstorms trying to fire up along a front. Uh, Monticello over toward Peru. We'll get you over toward close to about Marion and even Kokomo's in play for some of this stuff before midnight. Uh, much of tomorrow, first part of, might be in good shape here. Uh, get some more yard work done if you need to. All bets off for dry weather once we head toward about 1, 2 o'clock. And then we'll see the storm coverage ramp up here. This is at 7.30 to 8 p.m. tomorrow evening. So we'll start to get into more of uh, the downpour action. But I th think we will have some dry hours around on Tuesday and again on Wednesday. So it's not like we're going to have two back-to-back -back days of washout conditions, but you'll have to watch the radar closely. I think we'll get some late-day sun on Wednesday enough that we should quickly boost us up into the mid and upper 70s, and then we'll see thunderstorms start to emerge here again uh, second half of Wednesday and into Thursday. Some of those could pack a bit of a punch here. Both days, uh, anything that fires up will have heavy rain potential. But there could be enough energy and instability in the atmosphere that we could have some severe thunderstorms. Right now, it looks like, again, Thursday, the wettest day that we'll have. And then once we get this front south of us, may have a uh, decent but cool Friday. May not have a whole lot of sunshine there. That keeps our numbers down into the low 60s. Dry for now for the Grand Prix on Saturday. Subject to change, however. We're still several days out. We've got a chance of showers for Sunday. And high temperatures on the cooler side than normal in the mid to low 60s.